certainly be handy if you could have a mechanic in the trunk of your car for emergencies. But since the odds against that happening are pretty high, here's the next best thing. I'm going to show you things that you should have in your trunk to keep you safe while driving. And the first thing is a flashlight. But not just any flashlight, this is called Blue Line, and not only does it have a bright light, but if you're stranded at night, it's also a warning device. People will see that for miles, and you don't have to worry about people running into you. Now the next thing you should have in your trunk is a good set of jumper cables. Now you don't want a cheap set, these are made out of copper and they're thick. If you get the cheap aluminum ones, heck, they'll melt when you jump a dead battery. And make sure you get ones that are long enough. These are 15 feet long, so you can reach around stuff. And the next thing to have is a can of brake fluid. Because if your brakes get a leak, hey, you can pour it in and at least make it to a safe place, rather than be stranded. And speaking of not getting stranded, there's the handyman's helper, duct tape. Don't be without it. So you get a hole in a radiator hose, hey. You can duct tape it closed, it'll seal it for a while, so at least you can get to a safe place. But of course that won't do you any good, unless you have some antifreeze, so keep a jug of antifreeze in the trunk too. Now another thing I always put in my cars is a decent jack. I can't stand those cheap little jacks that cars come with. I go out and buy a good jack that'll jack the car up in here safely, and this one only costs 39 bucks. I'd much rather rely on a solid metal four wheel jack than those flimsy little cranks they give you. Now everyone hates being stranded with a flat tire. So I put one of these little husky pumps in every car I own. They just plug into the cigarette lighter, and they have a cord long enough to reach any of your tires. They even have a built-in pressure gauge, so you don't even need a tire gauge. And even a tiny little pump like this, it'll fill an empty tire up in as little as four minutes. And of course, don't forget to have a fire extinguisher in case the unmentionable happens. If either your car or somebody else's car starts in fire, you can save a life with one of these. Just make sure you get the right extinguisher, one that's rated for B and C for both liquids and electrical fires. And the last thing I'm talking about today are gloves. Keep a good pair of old gloves in the trunk. Because if you're going somewhere but you got to mess with your car, hey, nothing's worse than having filthy hands when you arrive, so have some gloves ready. And I like these safe grip gloves because they got long collars on them so the dirt can't get on you, and they're nice and thick. You can use them over many times. And best of all, they have these little crenulations on the fingertips so you can pick up small objects and they don't slip. So if you can't get a mechanic to live in the trunk of your car, at least you know what to put there instead. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.